Brady, we have to go after your second at bat, bud. It was easy for Brady Council Good to fall in love with baseball. I remember we'd always like go right in front of the wall so I could hit a lot of home runs, which was always pretty fun to do. <laughs> his home field growing up, the same field Dad played at. Number one Brady Council. His home field now is in Dad's hometown. He's never really like enforced me to play baseball. You know, it's always been something that I wanted to do. Council has the middle of the infield covered at Whitefish Bay. Brady at shortstop. His younger brother Jack at second base, turning double plays on the field. Where dad's number hangs on the outfield wall. Yeah, obviously that's a good person to look up to as like he's done the best like a baseball player can do. He's won two World Series and that's kind of something that I've always looked up to and his work ethic has got him there. So that's something I like strive to take after. On a rare off day in season, you'll find Craig at the high school field, just like any other parent watching their son. As parents, that's one of the biggest joy is watching your kids uh, do something that they love. There's a lot of Craig in Brady's game. My hands move really well in the infield, which um, allows me to make great accurate throws. But uh, yeah, he definitely works with me a lot with it, and it's helped me develop as a player for sure. Except for the batting stance. Yeah, no, I can't copy that. It's a little too out there for me. I, it's really uncomfortable. I've always tried to do it just because he did it, but it's way too uncomfortable for me. I don't know how he did that. He has to create his own game. I think that's probably critical is that he does that for himself. And I would encourage him to do that. He, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't play like me. He should play like him. That's how you create something special, I think, is have your own thing. Brady's development at Whitefish Bay and playing with top prospects at Hitters Baseball Academy. There you go. Helped earn him a scholarship to play at the University of Minnesota this fall. I think just being able to like produce at a high level has kind of allowed me to create my own name. How proud are you that he's following up in your footsteps, playing the game that you both love? Yeah, he's, he's just worked incredibly hard. It's, it's not easy to get to the point where he's got. You're proud of the work ethic as much as anything, of just putting all the work in and that requires it. And that, the fact that he's, he's found something that he loves to do, um, which is probably more important, and found some passion, uh, those, are, those are critical things for anybody to find in their life. And so when you find those things, and you can point him in a good direction and create something for yourself, uh, you know, you're, you're happy for sure. Makes, makes parents happy. It was always easy for Brady Council to fall in love with baseball. Playing shortstop, number one Brady Council. And wherever the game takes him, he knows the coach and dad who shares his passion will be there. If it's on the baseball field or even if it's off the baseball field, he's always going to be proud and uh, that's something that uh, means a lot to me. It means a lot. Stephen Watson reporting there. Next in line, Jack Council. He's a sophomore at Whitefish Bay. Pretty special for dad to watch his boys on the field together in the middle of the infield.